Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Diptesh Patel and I will be teaching you advanced internal combustion engine. In this session, we are going to uh, get introductions of the subjects. Uh, so, we are going to study the, uh, the outlines, these are the outlines of the subjects that start with the syllabus then what are the books that uh, you should refer then what would be the course outcome like after learning these subjects and what are the basically applications and importance of the advanced internal combustion engine so uh, these are the various things that we are going to see so let's start with the syllabus the first thing that we are going to see is the uh, engine design and operating parameters that would be covered in first chapter in which we are going to study the basic introductions of the subjects in which we are going to study various types of the engine such as the four stroke engine two stroke engine then we are also going to study the petrol diesel and dual cycle engines and what are the different uh, basic parameters uh, which would be covered in the rest of the syllabus that would be studied in the first chapter then second one is about the reactive systems so here we are going to study the uh, the overall reactions that takes place inside the combustion chamber how does that takes place what are the different factors that affects the reactions then the calorific value lower calorific value higher calorific value and uh, all those different things that we are going to be study in chapter number then third one is ideal models of engine cycle basically we have to work on the auto cycle diesel cycle or dual cycles uh, in these subjects uh, here we are going to uh, see the actual uh, engine cycles then ideal engine cycles we are also going to compare what are the difference between the ideal one and the actual one what are the losses that takes place in the engines and that makes it uh, um, less effective as compared to the ideal model so that would be covered in chapter number three then fourth one is about the gas exchange process basically in gas exchange process we are going to see both the in inlet manifold and the outlet manifold so here we are going to see how does the air flow takes place from atmosphere to the combustion chamber how does the mixing of air and fuel takes place and then after the combustion whatever whatever the residual gases are generated how does those gases left the combustion chamber to the atmosphere we are also uh, going to learn the few terms such as a scavenging then the supercharging as well because like the turbocharger that you that utilize the the uh, <coughs> the energy which contains in the gases and that enhance the overall performance of the engine so that all would be covered in chapter number four then the fifth one is a combustion now this is very very important because in combustion process we are going to study the the how does the combustion takes place both in uh, si and ci engine what are the different uh, stages of the combustion is then what uh, what would be the knocking and detonation these are the two different phenomena that uh, occurs in uh, the engine and that uh, makes the uh, like engine less efficient that uh, that may create a lot of issue uh, with the, the smooth flow of the power from the combustion chamber to the uh, to the piston to the crankshaft and uh, so we are going to see how does the detonation or knocking takes place what are the different factors that play an important role and how could you eliminate these factors so the fifth one is about the combustion then sixth one is about the emission from IC engine and its control so since we know that there are a lot of different uh, the uh, unwanted gases which generated uh, during the combustion process and these gases would be emitted into the atmosphere so that definitely affect the overall ecological system uh, of the universe and therefore uh, it is inevitable to use the such kind of devices which reduces these emission as low as possible so here we are going to see what are the different emissions that takes place uh, that occurs now from the ic engine and how could those uh, emissions controlled uh, or reduced uh, before it em emit into the atmosphere also here we are going to see a lot of indian standards uh, in uh, that that control the the emissions uh, of the gases that it takes place from the ic engine then seventh one is about the alternate fuels for the ic engine since we know that 
the scarcity of the fossil fuels and and that that is that the, the overall uh, availability of the fossil fuels is reducing and overall cost of these fossil fuels also increasing day by day so it is it is very very important to look for the other option as well so here we are going to see a lot of different alternative fuels for the ic engine such as cng lpg then hydrogen <coughs> ammonia alcohol vegetable oils uh, biodiesels these are the different alternative fuels that can be used instead of the uh, conventional fuels uh, such as petrol or diesels so uh, like uh, overall the <coughs> performance of these uh, alternative fuels is not as good as the conventional one however there are a lot of benefits by uh, adopting uh, such kind of the fuels they they would be less dam uh, damaging to the atmospheres and they are freely available i mean uh, adequately available uh, uh, as compared to the conventional one then chapter number 8 is about the heat transfer friction and lubrications in ic engine since we know that the the uh, the gases which generated inside the engine is is very uh, is having the very high temperature and that's for it is necessary to transfer the heat from the combustion chamber to the atmosphere so how does the heat transfer takes place in the ic engine then the friction which is considered as a big loss in ic engine so what is the friction uh, and how does that uh, frictions affect the overall performance of the engine and how could you eliminate these frictions uh, and the last one is the lubrications uh, in the chapter number 8 uh, here we are going to study what are the uh, different lubrications uh, system that is um, been used in ic engines and what are the important uh, parameters of the lubricants that uh, need to be taken into the considerations uh, before it is using into the ic engine so <coughs> that would be covered in chapter number 8 then chapter number 9 is the measurement testing of ic engine here we are going to uh, see few important uh, words such as the brake power indicated power friction power so we would understand how how can you uh, determine the uh, brake power and indicated power because this is very important this worth it because uh, like the overall performance is uh, been derived by using these all words so uh, <coughs> how could you measure these all parameters uh, uh, and how would you test the ic engine would be covered in chapter number 9 and the chapter number 10 is about the recent developments in ic engine like recently we have seen the lot of hybrid vehicles entering into the market other than that uh, hc ci engines and lean burn uh, engines then uh, improved two stroke type engines so these are the various engine which uh, which is uh, trying to enter into the market uh, so we are going to see what are the recent developments what are the new findings in the ic engine and that will be covered in chapter number 10 so this is all the syllabus of the ic engine now the most important thing is that what are the books that need to be studied so the first book i would uh, refer is uh, the internal combustion engine uh, fundamentals by john b haywood this is one of the good book that can be referred uh, to understand the overall uh, like fundamentals of the internal combustion engine then second one is the fundamentals of internal combustion engine by h n gupta this is also a good one uh, to understand the subjects thoroughly then uh, v ganeshan by uh, like internal combustion engine by v ganeshan uh, i would prefer definitely prefer this one because uh, like that can be used to understand the whole syllabus thoroughly then internal combustion engine by ml mathur and rp sharma this is also uh, a good book in which a lot of syllabus can be find uh, or covered in this books and the last one is internal combustion engine like applied thermo science by colin r ferguson so <coughs> that can also be referred to understand the few terms basically especially about the applied thermo sciences so these are the books that can be used uh, to study the uh, internal combustion engine then what could be the course outcome what could you achieve if you if you uh, learn this or if you complete this subject successfully then there are uh, what could be the next stage uh, after learning this subject so the first outcome would be you will be able to understand the operating characteristics of the ic engine you should be able to understand thoroughly the operating characteristics of the ic engine by learning this subject successfully you can also able to conduct the few experiments uh, about the ic engine as well then second one is you should be able to perform the thermodynamic analysis of the ic engine cycles uh, 
then third one is you should be able to perform the combustion analysis of the ic engine as well then you can also understand the generations of undesirable exhaust emission and what are the different ways that you can use to reduce the overall emissions and the last one is you should be able to understand the various heat transfer mechanisms in the engine such as the conduction convection and the radiations right overall uh, like uh, the heat transfer takes place by all three different modes however the convection is the the, uh, the most of the heat transferred by the convections uh, only as compared to the radiation and conductions all, although all three different modes of the heat transfer takes place in icng so these are the outcomes that uh, you should be able to understand you should be able to uh, uh, make it clear after learning these subjects then the next one is what are the applications of the ic engine studying any subjects you definitely have uh, one thing in your mind that what what or where these uh, subjects can be implemented what are the real life applications of these uh, particular subjects so basically there are a few applications that is been given here like uh, as i said the ic engine is classified in uh, for four different categories such as the two stroke and four stroke then two stroke petrol engine two stroke diesel engine or four stroke petrol engine and four stroke diesel engine so the application is also been classified accordingly so first one you will see that the two stroke petrol engine so the small engines uh, such as the mopeds or the scooters and motorcycles they they still use the two stroke engine then uh, some of the agriculture pumps right which is used to pump the water from one place to another place they also use the two stroke engines so these are the uh, these are the various applications uh, that can be that can the two stroke petrol engine uh, used then the second one is a four stroke petrol engine now four stroke pep, uh, petrol engine and four stroke diesel engine is widely popular for the different applications so four stroke en uh, petrol engine is specially used for the for the automobiles such as the cars jeeps motorcycles aircraft anyone nowadays like uh, as compared to the two stroke engine four stroke is more popular because it is uh, more efficient the overall the uh, the reductions uh, of these uh, overall fuel consumptions then enhancement of the power can be achieved by using the four stroke so these are the widely popular as compared to the two stroke petrol engines then third one is a four stroke diesel engine a four stroke diesel engine is also been used especially for the commercials and agriculture purpose uh, such as the tractors then drilling rigs pumping set buses trucks so these are the various uh, various applications where the uh, four stroke diesel engine can be adopted and the last one is two stroke diesel engine two stroke diesel engine is very popular for the ship propulsions all the small size ships uh, such as like 10 seater 15 seater uh, or even larger than that um, like they use the two stroke diesel engines and uh, two stroke diesel engine can also be used for the agriculture purpose as well so these are the various applications of the ic engine where the these can be adopted and i have just mentioned the few of them because it has a lot of a uh, range of applications where you can use the ic engine like ic engine can also be used in helicopter as well like a uh, uh, four stroke petrol engine can be used for the helicopter as well helicopter propulsion as well so uh, like it has a range of applications uh, in different area right? now what is the importance of these subjects and why do we need to study that right the ic engine was developed uh, many years ago however it is still popular as it was in um, history and it continue to grow although there are a few problems that makes the like conventional uh, ic engine less popular and some of these problems are the scarcity of the oil then the emissions uh, that 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 makes people to develop the new ic engine which are uh, like uh, less dependent to the conventional fuels and which reduces the overall emissions such as the hybrid vehicles electric vehicles is, are also becoming a popular with uh, the additions of the gasoline or the diesel engine so uh, the ic engine however ic engines are the still popular and they would continue to grow in the future as well right so basically this is the very important things that uh, 
been uh, that been considered for the uh, human being uh, because we are like completely dependent uh, especially for the movement especially for the uh, moving from uh, immigration moving from one place to another place ic engineers is very popular now this is also important in terms of the research there are a lot of researchers that are, uh, who are working in this area uh, like it is especially for the master degree because uh, we have the dissertation in uh, last year so i would uh, give you the few names uh, where you can uh, conduct the research as well right such as the uh, the modification of intact manifold or exhaust manifold by using the cfd analysis you can also uh, do the uh, redesign of the engine to reduce or to enhance the heat transfer uh, which would uh, damage the parts so there are a lot of different area where ic engine can be used also you can develop the alternative fuels you can use the alternative fuels and uh, reduce the emissions uh, as compared to the conventional one so there are a lot of different area where uh, research is possible in ic engine as well okay so yeah this is all at the moment uh, this was the introductions of the advanced internal combustion engine if you have any doubt you can write down in the comment box thank you very much